Hello friends, I am Dr. Gaurav Shivasta, Associate Professor, School of Advanced Computing, Sage University, Bhopal. In this video, we will learn about data pre-processing. Data pre-processing basically refers to the steps and techniques applied to raw data to transform it into a clean, structured, and usable format for further analysis or machine learning task. It is an essential step in data analysis and machine learning pipeline as the quality and suitability of the data directly impact the accuracy and effectiveness of the subsequent analysis or model. So data pre-processing typically involves the following steps. The first one is data cleaning. This step focuses on handling missing data outliers and inconsistencies in the data set. The second one is data integration. So as we can see that in many real world scenarios, data may be collected from different sources or in different formats. Data integration involves combining the data from different sources into a unified, or you can say in a single data set. Third one is data transformation. This step involves transforming the data into a suitable format for analysis or modeling. Next step is feature selection. In data sets with a large number of features, feature selection techniques help you to identify the most relevant and informative features in the data set. Next comes the feature engineering. So sometimes you can see that New features can be derived from the existing ones to enhance the predictive power of your data. Next is data discretization. Continuous variables can be discretized into categorical variables for certain types of analysis or to comply with specific requirements. So in data discretization, you can convert the continuous variables into the categorical variables. The next step is data splitting. So before, before analysis or model building, it is common practice to split the pre-processed data set into training, validation, and test sets. So by performing these data pre-processing steps, the quality and reliability of the data are improved, irrelevant or noisy information can be reduced, and the data set becomes suitable for analysis or building machine learning models. It also helps to ensure accurate and reliable insights, predictions, and decisions based on the data. So let us have an example to understand how the data pre-processing has been done on the data set. So here, this is an example of a data set which contains the information about houses for sale. The data set has the following columns, as you can see. The first column is the price. It's a numerical value representing the price of the house. Next column contains number of bedrooms. It is also a numerical value. It indicates the number of bedrooms in the house. The third column is the bathroom. So this is also a numerical value representing the number of bathrooms in the house. Next column is the square footage. This is also a numerical value indicating the size of the house in a square foot. And next is the location column, which has the categorical variables. It indicates the location of the house. Example, you can city, neighborhood, or any relevant place. And next column contains the age. It contains the numerical value and represents the age of the house in the years. So let us take one by one every step of uh, data pre-processing by using this data set. So as we have seen that the first step is data cleaning. So data cleaning contains the handling the missing data. So in this step, we can identify and handle missing values in any of the columns. Missing values can be imputed using techniques such as mean, median, or regression imputation or rows with missing values can be removed if the amount of missing data is small. You can remove the missing values from the data. Second is handling the outliers. 
to identify and handle outliers in variables like price or square footage. Outliers can be corrected by replacing them with more reasonable values or removing the data points if they are extreme and unlikely to be accurate. <laughs> Next is resolving inconsistency. Check for any inconsistencies or errors in the data, such as inconsistent naming conventions or conflicting information. Inconsistencies can be resolved by standardizing the data or correcting the errors where is possible. Next step is data integration. So combine data from different sources, like right? If additional data on houses is available from different sources, so you have to integrate that data into your existing data set by ensuring the consistency in terms of variables and formats. This can't be changed. Next step is data transformation. You can scale or normalize numerical variables. So normalize numerical variables such as price, bedrooms, and bathrooms to a common range, such as scaling them between zero and one, to eliminate the impact of different scales on analysis or modeling. This step also involves encoding categorical variables. So you can convert categorical variables like location into numerical representation using the techniques available such as one-hot encoding or label encoding. Next step is feature selection. It, identify, it identifies the relevant features. You can use statistical test, correlation analysis, or machine learning algorithms to select the most informative features. For example, determine which variable have the strongest correlation with the price of the house. Next is the feature engineering. It can create the new features. So you can generate new variables based on existing ones for instance, drive a price per square foot. You can have one more column, price per square foot feature by dividing the price by the square footage, which can provide additional insights into the value of the house. Next is data discretization. Discretize continuous variables if necessary Transform continuous variables into categorical variables. For example, you can discretize the age of the houses into categories like new, moderate, or old based on predefined ranges. Next step is data splitting. Split the pre-processed data set. Divide the data set into training, validation, and test sets. Typically, this is done randomly to ensure representative subsets for training, validating, and testing the model. So these data pre-processing steps help you to clean, transform, and organize the raw data set into a structured and suitable format for subsequent analysis or machine learning tasks by ensuring accurate and reliable results. Thank you. Stay tuned and subscribe to Sage University Bhopal.